RS are well known for their range of high quality, high spec motorhomes, as well as being the only UK manufacturer of A-class motorhomes. Now, when you buy an RS motorhome, you expect to get loads of goodies inside. What you don't expect to get is a bunch of balloons hung on the mirrors. What's happening? Well, RS have just opened a brand new factory here. Let's go and have a look round. And here we are inside the new RS factory. And here's Mick Rowe, the man who started RS more than 25 years oh, yeah. ago. Congratulations Thank on you. the new factory, Mick. Can you show us around? Yeah, let's take a walk. Okie dokie. Ah, the sweet smell of fiberglass. What goes on in here, Mick? This is where we make all those fiberglass components for exterior of the vehicles, the back panels, the sides, the locker doors, the front over cab, shower trays, everything really. What's uh, What's this? What's he, what's he making here? Uh, Daniel's just making a, an inner lining uh, for the new Endeavour, what we've just launching, for the uh, inner pod lining. Oh. So we make a pattern from that, then we can send this off to get it all fabricated and uh, fabric put on it and everything, so to line inside the pod out. Is it easy to make fiberglass components like this? No, it takes a lot of skill, a lot of time. Uh, the pattern making, the tooling for it and everything, it's quite expensive. This is the area where you actually make the panels, make the walls, the roof, the floor and so forth. What's involved in making? It's uh, quite a, a, an easy process really. We've got two vacuum tables which uh, we vacuum pumps. We, uh, we put a skin of fiberglass down, offer a roll, uh, glue it with insulations and uh, aluminium structures and make like a sandwich, all with glue. Then we pull the blankets over it, uh, switch the vacuum pumps on and leave it pulling for four hours. And then uh, after that, we take it out, lift it off and place it here and uh, cut all the window apertures, the door apertures. Uh, ready to fit onto the chassis. Now this, quite clearly, is where the furniture's made. Yeah, this is a joiner shop where all the uh, components come off the CNC machines, uh, come into here and the bench joiners assemble the furniture and wire them, uh, ready to be put inside the vehicles. Customers are allowed to come and put, pick various different colours, they can have bespoke furniture, lots of different changes, that's why people like it. They don't have to have what we want them to have, they can have what they want to have. What's going on here, Mick? We've got sort of half a truck. This is where the vehicle starts its life and starts to transform itself into a motorhome. We bring the vehicles in here at the chassis stage, we take the backs of the cabs out, we start putting cross members on, wiring the vehicles, fitting tanks, tow bars, etc., uh, before it moves on from this stage to the next stage, which is putting the body on. Behind us, you can actually see a motorhome. It looks like a motorhome. It's got the fiberglass components fitted and the side panels. And here, we've got one that's even further down the production process. Mick, tell us a little about this motorhome here. This is the exterior fit and interior stage, and uh, this is our latest 2014 Endeavour, uh, which in its last two or three days of completion, ready to go through to PDI, and. Uh, on its way to its new customer. How many people are working on the vehicle at this stage? At this stage you'll probably end up with probably eight, nine people finishing it off, electricians, plumbers, uh, some exterior fit. Uh, normally uh, each stage has about six, seven people in it working on it at a time. Well this is a finished product, it's uh, just come off the end of the line and it needs PDI and valeting and road testing ready for its final customer. Anybody's invited to come, give us a call, pre-arrange it, they can come and have a factory visit, see how we do it, how we build it. They're more than welcome to see the vehicles being built, speak to us designers and just look at what we do. So there you are, that's how you build a motorhome. <laughs> Easy, isn't it? If you went to the motorhome and caravan show at the NEC this year, you may have noticed that RS weren't there, and that's because they were moving house. But they've promised me that they'll be there next year, 2014.